2020 graduates, the Creighton community composed of faculty, staff, alumni, and Jesuits welcomes you into a select group. Tomorrow you will officially become alumni of Creighton University. On behalf of the entire university community and your families and friends, congratulations. Graduates, I hope that despite the unusual and disruptive conclusion to the academic year, you are able to bask in the pride you should feel today. You were determined to complete your studies in preparation for the next important step in your life, and you have done just that. To each of you, I say, well done. You are viewing this from locations near and far. Some of you are with family members and others are alone, but we are together in the Creighton family nonetheless. We are a national and global academic community, united by a love of learning and a desire to live out a call to service. As you celebrate today with your specific school or college and experience virtually the various rituals that mark this rite of passage, please know that you are prepared. You are poised for further study or employment or volunteer service or residency or fellowship, but you are indeed prepared. Your Creighton degree will attest to that preparation. It will signify that you made good use of the instruction, formation, mentorship, technology, faith, and service opportunities, and more, that you found here at Creighton. And in turn, we will point with pride to you as an example of all that Creighton University graduate is and can be. You will make your mark on the world, and it awaits your expertise, compassion, and hope. We can never say it enough. Congratulations on your well-deserved achievement. I look forward to hearing about the great things I know you will do to make our world a better, more just place. God bless you today, tomorrow, and in the years to come. And again, I look forward to addressing you tomorrow and to conferring your Creighton University degrees. On behalf of Creighton University, I offer my congratulations to all of our graduates and their families. You can all be very proud of your achievements and Creighton University is proud of you. Creighton University is called to provide capable leaders who are knowledgeable and compassionate. This world today needs professionals of conscience in every walk of life and in every corner of the world, men and women of integrity whose hearts and minds and actions are guided by ethical principles. It is my hope that as you apply in your life the knowledge and skills that you've acquired through your years at Creighton, that you will carry forward the time-honored traditions of your Jesuit Catholic education. And all of you will carry the imprint of this place on your lives in ways that extend far beyond your knowledge in the fields that you have chosen to study. Graduates, you've been greatly influenced and in many ways forever changed by those who taught, mentored, and inspired you. Your professors have challenged you, held you to high standards, and supported you in your efforts for which we know you are all grateful. On behalf of all faculty at Creighton University, congratulations and Godspeed. Graduates, when we gathered in the Harper Center on your first day of orientation, we prayed that you would enjoy your learning, take delight in new discoveries, and persevere in your studies. You have persevered. And today, after hundreds of lectures, each begun with enthusiasm, thousands of clinical hours, and innumerable multiple choice questions, we send you forth as instruments of God's healing and signs of God's care. As you devote your lives to the sacred calling of medicine, we pray that you carry with you a deep interior knowledge of the gifts you have received from professors, patients, and your presence to one another. May your gratitude for these gifts express itself in praise, reverence, and service of God in all that you do and in all whom you encounter. And so let us pause for a moment, each in our own words and our own way, to thank God for the gifts you have received and to ask God to be with you as you begin your lives as physicians. O oh God, all good gifts and blessings descend from you as the rays come down from the sun and the rains from their source. To you our prayers rise up. In your kindness, 
watch over and protect your servants who we send forth to care for your sick and suffering people. Grant that these physicians will receive with kindness and humility all the patients who are entrusted to them. May they listen with compassion and tend to them with skill and care. In your loving providence, O God, you have made the forces of nature subject to the work of our hands. Guide the hands of these new physicians to contribute to the healing of your creation. Help them to work for a better society in solidarity with those most in need. Strengthen them and bring their work to fulfillment. Let hope accompany their journey throughout their careers and may your abiding presence be with them today and all the days of their lives. We ask this in your most holy name, amen. Congratulations, graduates of the Creighton University School of Medicine, class of 2020. This milestone in your lives is the result of your deliberate and thoughtful answer to a calling from God to the practice of medicine. As a Jesuit Catholic institution, we respect and acknowledge that God means many th different things to many different people. What is important today is that we recognize that the calling to medicine is a gift from God for which we should be grateful every day of our lives. So let's talk for a few moments about gratitude. And frankly, all of you have received many blessings for which you should be thankful. Your goodness, your willingness to serve, your intellectual skills are sometimes humbling for those of us that serve you on the faculty. We're all grateful that God has blessed you with many gifts. You have worked hard and sacrificed to develop your talents and become outstanding physicians. For many of you, people around you, your parents, spouses, family, and friends, recognized these gifts long before you. They encouraged your development and they supported and sacrificed to help you grow. These people are very special gifts that God has given to you. I would hope that you would take time in the next few days to make a point of individually thanking the important people in your lives who have helped you reach this milestone. You may move all over the world, but you are always members of the Creighton family. As a family, we will always be here for you when you need support. Together, we are on the journey of a lifetime. So what makes this journey different for Creighton physicians? The belief that spirituality is central to how we practice medicine is why Jesuit medical education exists. What our religious beliefs are is perhaps not as important as our recognition that healing must address our patients' emotional and spiritual needs. As the great Jesuit Teilhard de Chardin said, we are not human beings having a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. The Ignatian charism, cure personalis, care for the whole person, was originally meant for the development of individual students, but we now apply it to our patients. Care for the whole person must acknowledge the importance of spirituality in maintaining well-being, easing suffering, and in the art of healing. Every human being is a unique gift from God. Now, medicine is undergoing a paradigm shift from dealing with episodes of illness to managing wellness. But as the coronavirus pandemic has reminded us, people will always get sick, some will be admitted to the hospital, and eventually our spiritual beings must depart our current physical existence. We must be leaders in ensuring that everyone is treated with dignity and respect, particularly children, the elderly, the unborn, and others who are most vulnerable, including those near death. Another Jesuit charism is faith that does justice. Creighton trained physicians do not see poor pair mixes. We see challenges in healthcare equity that must be addressed. Creighton doctors don't deny healthcare to illegal aliens, we do the best job possible for everyone, no matter what their race, gender, religion, nationality, ideology, or socioeconomic standing. Service by itself is not enough. We are at our best when we connect with those we serve, when we develop a sense of empathy and kinship that means our heart is in the right place. If your heart is in the right place, your feet will lead you and others to where you can best serve God. Today, more than ever before, our world needs Jesuit-trained physician leaders who are willing to serve others by building bridges and tearing down walls. There's an old axiom that managers do things the right way, but leaders know the right thing to do. 
We expect all Creighton physicians to be leaders who communicate and clearly describe the right thing to do. And what ties all of this together in a complete package is prayer. Now, July 1st is coming and you'll all be new interns. You should be praying every day because I know that all of us in the faculty put our praying into high gear each July when the new graduates start. We want the best for you. Pray for yourselves, pray for your families, pray for your coworkers, pray for your patients and their families. Research published in business and medical journals demonstrates that people who pray find it easier to be thankful and thankful people have a better attitude about life. They are more resilient and see opportunities that others miss in times of adversity. In conclusion, class of 2020, your heart is in the right place and it is time for you to set the world on fire. We honor you and we ask you to remember that you are always members of our Creighton family and we will always love you and want the best for you. I pray that God blesses each and every one of you with a wonderful and fulfilling life of service to others. It has been a great honor to serve as your dean. Thank you. I am now honored to present to you the Creighton University School of Medicine Class of 2020. In addition to each student's name, hometown, specialty, and residency program, each slide will include relevant student awards as well. Tyler Joseph Bading from Carroll, Iowa, will pursue his residency training in pediatrics at the University of Texas at Austin Dell Medical School in Austin, Texas. Matthew Duncan Bear from Tacoma, Washington, will continue his training in family medicine at the University of Washington Affiliated Hospitals in Seattle, Washington. Jonathan David Bauman from Omaha, Nebraska, will pursue his residency training in emergency medicine at the University of Kansas School of Medicine in Kansas City, Kansas. Megan Elizabeth Block from Beaverton, Oregon, will continue her training in internal medicine at Providence Health in Portland, Oregon. Matthew Ryan Borchert from Savage, Minnesota, will pursue his residency training in internal medicine at the University of Arizona College of Medicine in Phoenix, Arizona. Benjamin Robert Brannigan from Omaha, Nebraska, will continue his training in general surgery at Iowa Methodist Medical Center in Des Moines, Iowa. Joseph Connor Brinkman from Glendale, Arizona, will graduate cum laude. He will pursue his residency training in orthopedic surgery at Mayo Clinic School of Graduate Medical Education in Phoenix, Arizona. Bailey Nicole Brooks from West Des Moines, Iowa, will continue her training in psychiatry at the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics in Iowa City, Iowa. Mackenzie Robert Brown from Gainesville, Texas, will graduate cum laude. He will pursue his residency training in emergency medicine at John Peter Smith Hospital in Fort Worth, Texas. Nicholas Joseph Brozovich from Rochester, Minnesota, will continue his training in surgery at Temple University Hospital in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. John Elliott Dale Brubaker from Burnsville, Minnesota, will pursue his residency training in internal medicine at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio. Margaret Rachel Butler Brubaker from Maplewood, Minnesota, will graduate magna cum laude. She will continue her training in internal medicine at the University of Cincinnati Medical Center in Cincinnati, Ohio. Kayla Michelle Buecher from Mount Vernon, Washington, will pursue her residency training in pediatrics at the University of California Irvine Medical Center in Orange, California. Hallie Morgan Chaffin from Kailua, Hawaii, will continue her training in internal medicine at Mayo Clinic School of Graduate Medical Education in Scottsdale, Arizona. Andy Chan from Monterey Park, California, will pursue his residency training in pediatrics at the University of California Irvine Medical Center in Orange, California. Madeline Grace Chandler from Nixa, Missouri, will continue her training in family medicine at Memorial Hospital in South Bend, Indiana. Eugene Chun Yin Chow from Los Angeles, California, will pursue his residency training in obstetrics and gynecology at Zucker School of Medicine, Northwell Lenox Hill Hospital in New York, New York. 
Anna Lynn Cheek from Kansas City, Missouri will continue her training in internal medicine at Creighton University affiliated hospitals in Omaha, Nebraska. Luke Alexander Colburn from Los Angeles, California will pursue his residency training in general surgery at the University of Arizona College of Medicine in Phoenix, Arizona. Brian Patrick Conahan from Highlands Ranch, Colorado will continue his training in anesthesiology at Loyola University Medical Center in Maywood, Illinois. Alexander James Continenza from Lakeville, Minnesota will pursue his residency training in interventional radiology at the University of Minnesota Medical School in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Devin Connell Corrigan from Corvallis, Oregon will continue his training in pediatrics at Children's Mercy Hospital in Kansas City, Missouri. Christina Elise Curtin from New York, New York will pursue her residency training in obstetrics and gynecology at the University of Texas Southwestern in Dallas, Texas. Selena Joyce Derderian from San Diego, California will continue her training in psychiatry at the University of Southern California in Los Angeles, California. Shannon Marie DeVries from Martinez, California will pursue her residency training in internal medicine at Creighton University affiliated hospitals in Omaha, Nebraska. Mary Karen Dick from Omaha, Nebraska will continue her training in dermatology at Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville, Tennessee. Nicholas Anthony DeStefano from Omaha, Nebraska will pursue his residency training in psychiatry at Creighton University affiliated hospitals in Omaha, Nebraska. Nathaniel James Donnell from Knoxville, Tennessee will continue his training in anesthesiology at Rush University Medical Center in Chicago, Illinois. Jacob Thomas Dovgan from Knoxville, Tennessee will pursue his residency training in physical medicine and rehabilitation at Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville, Tennessee. Rebecca Claire Dreesen from Rosemont, Minnesota will continue her training in diagnostic radiology at Emory University School of Medicine in Atlanta, Georgia. Joel Guthrie Eastis from Manhattan, Kansas will pursue his residency training in general surgery at Creighton University affiliated hospitals in Phoenix, Arizona. John Bernard Henry Isinga from Grand Rapids, Michigan will continue his training in general surgery at Baylor University Medical Center in Dallas, Texas. Elizabeth Celeste England from Woodbury, Minnesota will pursue her residency training in diagnostic radiology at Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville, Tennessee. Andrew William Ensler from Dubuque, Iowa will continue his training in pediatrics at the University of Minnesota Medical School in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Timothy Cogswell Evans from San Diego, California will pursue his residency training in anesthesiology at Mayo Clinic School of Graduate Medical Education in Rochester, Minnesota. James Patrick Fogerlin from West Des Moines, Iowa will continue his training in internal medicine at the University of Nebraska Medical Center in Omaha, Nebraska. Alexandria Paige Fancher Dominguez from Olympia, Washington will pursue her residency training in internal medicine at Oregon Health and Science University in Portland, Oregon. Mary Patricia Ferro from Council Bluffs, Iowa will continue her training in obstetrics and gynecology at University Hospitals in Columbia, Missouri. Brooke Malia Fenske from Elgin, Minnesota will pursue her residency training in obstetrics and gynecology at Mayo Clinic School of Graduate Medical Education in Rochester, Minnesota. Jacob Robert Fiocchi from Portland, Oregon will continue his training in internal medicine at the University of Minnesota Medical School in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Catalina Nicole Flores from Cottonwood, Arizona will continue her residency training in diagnostic radiology at Creighton University affiliated hospitals in Phoenix, Arizona. 
Lucas Oren Foster from Valencia, California will graduate cum laude. He will continue his training in orthopedic surgery at Cedars Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles, California. Zachary Stephen Franco from Omaha, Nebraska will pursue his residency training in anesthesiology at the University of Nebraska Medical Center in Omaha, Nebraska. Stephen Caleb Freeman from Lehigh, Utah will continue his training in dermatology at Oregon Health and Science University in Portland, Oregon. Sonia French from Colorado Springs, Colorado will graduate cum laude. She will pursue her residency training in general surgery at Swedish Medical Center in Seattle, Washington. John Abraham Giha from Leewood, Kansas will continue his training in orthopedic surgery at the University of Oklahoma College of Medicine in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Stephen Charles Giacomazzi from Hanford, California will pursue his residency training in anesthesiology at the University of California San Diego Medical Center in San Diego, California. Emily Kindred Griffin from Indian Hills, Colorado will continue her training in anesthesiology at Mayo Clinic School of Graduate Medical Education in Scottsdale, Arizona. Matthew Alvin Goobles from Yankton, South Dakota will pursue his residency training in diagnostic radiology at the University of Kansas School of Medicine in Kansas City, Kansas. Ekaterina Halivalakis from Cooper City, Florida will continue her training in obstetrics and gynecology at Geisinger Health System in Danville, Pennsylvania. Alexandra Hammerquist from Rapid City, South Dakota will pursue her residency training in obstetrics and gynecology at Mercy Hospital in St. Louis, Missouri. Elizabeth Allen Hartley from Portland, Oregon will continue her training in pediatrics at UNMC Creighton University Affiliated Hospitals in Omaha, Nebraska. Morgan Elliott Hashigawa from Kent, Washington will pursue his residency training in orthopedic surgery at the University of Hawaii in Honolulu, Hawaii. Brian William Hoink from Omaha, Nebraska will graduate summa cum laude. He will continue his training in internal medicine at the hospital of the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Briggs Stewart Hoyt from Phoenix, Arizona will pursue his residency training in ophthalmology at Loyola University Heinz VA Hospital in Chicago, Illinois. Dylan James Hoyt from Fort Collins, Colorado will continue his training in diagnostic radiology at Creighton University Affiliated Hospitals in Phoenix, Arizona. Ricky Huang from Honolulu, Hawaii will pursue his residency training in internal medicine at the University of Hawaii in Honolulu, Hawaii. Ashley Marie Hubble from Mesa, Arizona will continue her training in anesthesiology at the University of California Davis Medical Center in Sacramento, California. Trevor Jordan Huff from Logan, Utah will pursue his residency training in diagnostic radiology at the University of Arizona College of Medicine in Tucson, Arizona. Reese Ishihara from Waiapahu, Hawaii will continue his training in ophthalmology at the University of Texas Methodist in Galveston, Texas. Judy Jiang from New York, New York will pursue her residency training in obstetrics and gynecology at St. Peter's University Hospital, Rutgers Robert Wood Johnson Medical School in New Brunswick, New Jersey. Alexandra Marie Young from Danville, California will continue her training in pediatrics at the University of Texas at Austin, Dell Medical School in Austin, Texas. Jonathan Michael Katz from Johnston, Iowa will pursue his residency training in internal medicine at the University of Wisconsin Hospitals and Clinics in Madison, Wisconsin. Kimberly Fazio Kimberly from Sacramento, California will continue her training in physical medicine and rehabilitation at Case Western Metro Health Medical Center 
in Cleveland, Ohio. Justin James Kochansky from Chicago, Illinois, will pursue his residency training in pediatrics at Stanford University Programs in Stanford, California. Lindsay Kathleen Koop from St. Louis, Missouri, will continue her training in diagnostic radiology at Mayo Clinic School of Graduate Medical Education in Rochester, Minnesota. Garrison Alexander Leach from Phoenix, Arizona, will graduate cum laude. He will pursue his residency training in plastic surgery at the University of California San Diego Medical Center in San Diego, California. Jane Urem Lee from Orangeburg, New York, will continue her training in neurology at Zucker School of Medicine at Hofstra Northwell North Shore University Hospital and Long Island Jewish Medical Center in New York, New York. Sunny Sangyan Lee from Aurora, Colorado, will pursue his residency training in psychiatry at Hennepin County Medical Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Devin Parker Leland from Huxley, Iowa, will continue his training in orthopedic surgery at Mayo Clinic School of Graduate Medical Education in Rochester, Minnesota. Diane Victoria Light from Monument, Colorado, will graduate magna cum laude. She will pursue her residency training in obstetrics and gynecology at Creighton University Affiliated Hospitals in Phoenix, Arizona. Jonathan Yat Hung Liu from Sandy, Utah, will continue his training in psychiatry at George Washington University in Washington, D.C. Kimberly Nicole Lauder from Ogden, Utah, will pursue her residency training in psychiatry at The Ohio State University Medical Center in Columbus, Ohio. Parker Eugene Ludwig from Salt Lake City, Utah, will continue his training in diagnostic radiology at Indiana University School of Medicine in Indianapolis, Indiana. J.C. Nicole Lundberg from Palos Verdes Estates, California, will graduate magna cum laude. She will pursue her residency in diagnostic radiology at the Hospital of the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Ross Daniel Luther III from Phoenix, Arizona, will continue his training in urology at Madigan Army Medical Center in Tacoma, Washington. Catherine Ann Manning from Zimmerman, Minnesota, will pursue her residency training in pediatrics at UNMC Creighton University Affiliated Hospitals in Omaha, Nebraska. Kelly Diane Manns from Topeka, Kansas, will continue her training in pediatrics at UNMC Creighton University Affiliated Hospitals in Omaha, Nebraska. Zachary Kanoa Masuda from Waipahu, Hawaii, will pursue his residency training in psychiatry at Creighton University Affiliated Hospitals in Phoenix, Arizona. Caitlin Frances Madsen from Chanhassen, Minnesota, will continue her training in pediatrics at the University of Minnesota Medical School in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Mallory Sigrid Matson from Minot, North Dakota, will pursue her residency training in obstetrics and gynecology at St. Louis University School of Medicine in St. Louis, Missouri. Andrew Walid Mezer from Los Angeles, California, will graduate summa cum laude. He will continue his training in surgery at Creighton University Affiliated Hospitals in Phoenix, Arizona. Christina Orlin Momchev from Palatine, Illinois, will pursue her residency training in general surgery at Creighton University Affiliated Hospitals in Phoenix, Arizona. William Francis Monat from Oak Brook, Illinois, will continue his medical training in a transitional year program at Travis Air Force Base in Fairfield, California. John Joseph Morelli III from Kansas City, Missouri, will pursue his residency training in pediatrics at Vanderbilt University Medical Center in Nashville, Tennessee. Hannah Diane Mulder from Egan, Minnesota, will continue her training in pediatrics at the University of Minnesota Medical School in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Catherine Lynn Mulligan from El Dorado Hills, California, will pursue her residency training 
in pediatrics at Medical College of Wisconsin Affiliated Hospitals in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Samantha Page Myers from Springfield, Missouri will continue her training in internal medicine at the University of Virginia in Charlottesville, Virginia. Audrey Nicole Netzel from Monroe, Wisconsin will pursue her residency training in internal medicine at Louisiana State University Health in Shreveport, Louisiana. Tuan Min No from Milpitas, California will continue his training in diagnostic radiology at the University of Kansas School of Medicine in Kansas City, Kansas. Trevin Takeshi Nishibun from Honolulu, Hawaii will pursue his residency training in anesthesiology at Loma Linda University in Loma Linda, California. Catherine Vishay Nordic from Plymouth, Minnesota will graduate magna cum laude. She will continue her training in general surgery at Baylor College of Medicine in Houston, Texas. Shada Omid from La Jolla, California will pursue her residency training in neurology at the University of Arizona College of Medicine in Phoenix, Arizona. Jeffrey Ryan Orff from St. Louis, Missouri will continue his training in urology at St. Louis University School of Medicine in St. Louis, Missouri. Emma Louise Parks from San Francisco, California will pursue her residency training in internal medicine at St. Louis University School of Medicine in St. Louis, Missouri. Emily Peterson from Huntington Beach, California will continue her training in family medicine at UCLA Medical Center in Los Angeles, California. Bogdana Petko from Albuquerque, New Mexico will pursue her residency training in neurology at the University of Virginia in Charlottesville, Virginia. Kimberly Tan Pham from Phoenix, Arizona will continue her training in pediatrics at Phoenix Children's Hospital in Phoenix, Arizona. Dory Elaine Pitzer from Melbourne, Florida will pursue her residency training in family medicine at Offutt Air Force Base in Bellevue, Nebraska. Olivia Christine Retano from Tampa, Florida will be graduating in December and will participate in the residency match process that begins this fall and culminates in March 2021. Trisha Pooley Reddy from Cincinnati, Ohio will continue her training in pediatrics at Indiana University School of Medicine in Indianapolis, Indiana. Ryder Ronald Richard Reed from Laverne, Minnesota will pursue his residency training in orthopedic surgery at Mayo Clinic School of Graduate Medical Education in Rochester, Minnesota. Brian Thomas Riley from Pembroke, Massachusetts will continue his training in otolaryngology at Temple University Hospital in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Allison Elizabeth Rembis from Rocky Hill, Connecticut will pursue her residency training in psychiatry at Harvard South Shore in Brockton, Massachusetts. Joseph E. Resnicek from Wauwatosa, Wisconsin will graduate magna cum laude. He will continue his training in pathology at Northwestern University McGaw Medical Center in Chicago, Illinois. Jordan Robert Richards from Argusville, North Dakota will pursue his residency training in urology at the University of Iowa Hospitals and Clinics in Iowa City, Iowa. Thomas Michael Marcus Reith from Oakdale, Minnesota will continue his training in pediatrics at Children's Mercy Hospital in Kansas City, Missouri. Zachary Kenneth Resch from Palm Beach Gardens, Florida will pursue his residency training in neurology at the University of Texas Southwestern in Dallas, Texas. Atifa Sadat Sajadi from San Jose, California will continue her training in otolaryngology at the University of Minnesota Medical School in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Mohan Satish from Holbrook, New York will pursue his residency training in internal medicine at Icon School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York, New York. Ethan Robert Sawyer from Brandon, South Dakota 
will continue his training in orthopedic surgery at the University of Toledo in Toledo, Ohio. Allison Lay Seats from Golden, Colorado will pursue residency training in pediatrics, psychiatry, and child psychiatry at Tufts Medical Center in Boston, Massachusetts. Danica Elizabeth Seifert from Wilmar, Minnesota will continue her training in diagnostic radiology at the University of Minnesota Medical School in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Akriti Shrestha from Longmont, Colorado will pursue residency training in obstetrics and gynecology at St. Joseph Mercy in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Aaron Kelly Simmons from Palos Verdes, California will graduate cum laude. She will continue her training in general surgery at the University of New Mexico School of Medicine in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Mackenzie Lynn Stevenson from Ogdensburg, New York will pursue her residency training in internal medicine at Creighton University Affiliated Hospitals in Omaha, Nebraska. Sean Thomas Stringham from Salt Lake City, Utah will continue his training in pediatrics at Children's Mercy Hospital in Kansas City, Missouri. Monas Ithakar Syed from Lincolnwood, Illinois will pursue his residency training in physical medicine and rehabilitation at Marion Joy Rehabilitation Hospital in Wheaton, Illinois. Ann Sheehan Tang from Orange, California will continue her training in family medicine at Creighton University Affiliated Hospitals in Phoenix, Arizona. Benjamin Hazi Thompson from Utica, Minnesota will pursue his training in family medicine at Gunderson Lutheran Medical Foundation in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Nicholas David Tran from Honolulu, Hawaii will continue his training in general surgery at Creighton University Affiliated Hospitals in Omaha, Nebraska. Claire Drake Troya from Omaha, Nebraska will pursue her training in pediatrics at UNMC Creighton University Affiliated Hospitals in Omaha, Nebraska. Jasmine Vekshurzadeh from Manlius, New York will continue her training in internal medicine at Boston University Medical Center in Boston, Massachusetts. Andrew Marshall Balaket from Waynesville, Ohio will pursue his training in orthopedic surgery at Medical College of Wisconsin Affiliated Hospitals in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Karina Nicole Vasquez from Spring Valley, California will graduate magna cum laude. She will continue her training in psychiatry at the University of California Irvine Medical Center in Orange, California. Nirmal Kumar Vijayavel from Kingman, Arizona will pursue his residency training in internal medicine at Harbor UCLA Medical Center in Torrance, California. Eric William Villanueva from Phoenix, Arizona will continue his training in physical medicine and rehabilitation at Northwestern Feinberg School of Medicine in Chicago, Illinois. Thomas Volberding from Omaha, Nebraska will be graduating in December and will participate in the residency match process that begins this fall and culminates in March 2021. Emily Page Walker from Tualatin, Oregon will continue her training in psychiatry at the University of Arizona College of Medicine in Tucson, Arizona. Catherine Alice Wellman from Fort Collins, Colorado will pursue her residency training in emergency medicine at St. Luke's Hospital in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Brett Michael Weam from Colorado Springs, Colorado will continue his training in family medicine at Poudre Valley Hospital in Fort Collins, Colorado. John Charles Wolf from St. Paul, Minnesota will pursue his residency training in anesthesiology at the University of Chicago Medical Center in Chicago, Illinois. Tyler Thomas Woodworth from Lakewood, Colorado will continue his training in physical medicine and rehabilitation at the University of Utah Health System in Salt Lake City, Utah. Raphael Kayom Young from Arcadia, California will pursue his residency training in family medicine at Mercy Hospital in St. Louis, Missouri. 
Christina K. Solid from Vermilion, South Dakota, will continue her training in pediatrics at Washington University School of Medicine in St. Louis, Missouri. Ladies and gentlemen, the graduates of the School of Medicine. Please join me in reciting the physician's oath. As I enter the practice of medicine, I solemnly pledge to give my life and talents to the service of humanity. I will practice medicine with conscience and dignity. I will not permit considerations of race, gender, sexual orientation, religion, nationality, ideology, or social standing to intervene between my art and my patient. The health and life of my patient will be my first consideration, and I will abstain from whatever is deleterious or mischievous. I will hold in confidence all that my patient confides in me. I will give respect and gratitude to my deserving teachers and all who have helped me in my pursuit of knowledge, empathy, and wisdom. My colleagues will be my brothers and sisters, and by instruction and example, we will impart a knowledge of the art to those who wish to learn it. I will maintain the utmost respect for human life and the dignity of my fellow man. I will not use my knowledge contrary to the laws of humanity and will strive to do no harm. May God grant me the wisdom and compassion to practice this art. I make this oath freely and upon my honor.